that the walk up this evening wasn't too bad for everybody. I'm really delighted to see a full church here for our evening service of evening prayer. And just before we get to stilling ourselves for a moment, today marks the beginning of creation tide in the Anglican calendar. And it goes on for a month, really, where we focus on creation, the living world, and of course, all the good gifts that God has given to all of us. So this morning, I was out enjoying those gifts and picking blackberries in the hedgerow. But of course, what is a blackberry? Does anybody know what the name is for, and you're not allowed to answer, I know you know this answer, David. A blackberry is made up of a lot of single fruits. It's not just one fruit, it's multiple little fruits. Does anyone know the name of each tiny little bubble that makes up a blackberry? Begins with the letter D. Is anybody going to have a, has it a guess? It's D-R. They are called droops. Droops, okay, droops. So, and lots of droops make up a single blackberry. Okay, so I'm going to have to think up another question at some point in the service, because nobody's won this blackberry crumble that I made earlier. <laughs> So, there you go. Hopefully that will inspire everybody to answer the next question that I might ask. So, at this beginning of Creation Tide, let's still ourselves for a moment then, as we realise and appreciate that we are before the living God. God saw everything that he had made, and indeed it was very good. Let us pray. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray your grace and peace to us allow and be our guard and keeper now. Amen. So we follow the order of service in the black book, beginning at page 38. The light and peace of Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. The glory of the Lord has risen upon us. Let us rejoice and sing God's praise forever. We have come together in the name of Christ to offer our praise and thanksgiving, to hear and receive God's holy word, to pray for the needs of the world, and to seek the forgiveness of our sins that by the power of the Holy Spirit we may give ourselves to the service of God. Jesus says, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. So let us turn away from our sin and turn to Christ, confessing our sins in penitence and faith. Most, Most merciful God, God Father, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be that we may do justly, love mercy, 
and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. So may the God of love and power forgive us and free us from our sins, heal and strengthen us by his Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Sovereign God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. You led your people to freedom by a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. May we, who walk in the light of your presence, acclaim your Christ, rising victoriously, as he banishes all darkness from our hearts and minds. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. So we stand if we are able to. If not, please feel free to remain seated as we sing our opening hymn. And the words can be found on your pew sheet this evening. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, 
the moon and the stars which you have set in place. Or was it mankind that you are mindful of them, human beings that you care for them? You have made them a little lower than the angels and crowned them with glory and honour. You made them rulers over the works of your hands. You put everything under their feet. All flocks and herds and the animals of the wild. The birds in the sky and the fish in the sea. All that swim in the paths of the seas. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And our canticle this evening. It's the Canticle of the Sun, written by St. Francis of Assisi. Most High, all-powerful, good Lord, yours are the praises, the glory, the honour and all blessing. To you alone, Most High, do they belong, and no human person is worthy to mention your name. Be praised, my Lord, through all your creatures, especially through my Lord, Brother, Son, who brings the day, and you give light through him. And he is beautiful and radiant in all his splendour. Of you, Most High, he bears the likeness. Praise be you, my Lord, through Sister Moon and the stars in heaven, you formed them clear and precious and beautiful. Praise be you, my Lord, through Brother Wind and through the air, cloudy and serene, and every kind of weather through which you give sustenance to your creatures. Praise be you, my Lord, through Sister Water, which is very useful and humble and precious and chaste. Praise be you, my Lord, through Brother Fire, through whom you light the night, and he is beautiful and playful and robust and strong. Praise be you, my Lord, through Sister Mother Earth, who sustains us and governs us and who produces varied fruits with coloured flowers and herbs. Praise be you, my Lord, through those who give pardon for your love and bear infirmity and tribulation. Blessed are those who endure in peace, for by you, Most High, they shall be crowned. Praise and bless my Lord and give him thanks and serve him with great humility. And so we have our first reading for this evening. And the first reading is from the book of Genesis. Then God commanded, let the earth produce all kinds of animal life, domestic and wild, large and small. And it was done. So God made them all, and he was pleased with what he saw. Then God said, and now we will make human beings, and they will be like us and resemble us. And they will have power over the fish, the birds and all animals, domestic and wild, large and small. So God created human beings, making them to be like himself. He created them male and female, blessed them and said, have many children, so that your descendants will live over all the earth and bring it under control. I am putting you in charge of the fish, the birds and all the wild animals. I have provided all kinds of grain and all kinds of fruit for you to eat. But for all the wild animals and for all the birds, I have provided grass and leafy plants for food. And it was done. God looked at everything he had made and he was very pleased. Evening passed and morning came. 
that was the sixth day. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The, the second reading is taken from Matthew uh, chapter 8. This is why I tell you, do not be worried about the food and drink you need in order to stay alive, or about clothes for your body. After all, isn't life more worth, worth more than food? And isn't the body worth more than clothes? Look at the birds. They do not plant seeds, gather a harvest and put it in a barn. Yet your Father in heaven takes care of them. Aren't you worth much more than the birds? Can any of you live a bit longer by worrying about it? And why worry about clothes? Look how the wild flowers grow. They do not work or make clothes for themselves. But I tell you that not even King Solomon, with all his wealth, has clothes as beautiful as one of these flowers. It is God who clothes the wild grass, the grass that is here today and gone tomorrow, burned up in the oven. Going to be all the more sure to clothe you. What little faith you have. So do not start worrying. Where will my food come from, or my drink, or my clothes? These are the things that pagans are always concerned about. Your Father in heaven knows that you need all these things. Instead, be concerned above everything else with the kingdom of God and with what he requires of you. And he will provide you with all these things. So do not worry about tomorrow. It will have enough to worry about of its own. There is no need to add to the troubles each day brings. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. And just as the Gospel passage tells us to seek first the Kingdom of God, so these next words remind us that God provides. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is the strength of my life. The Lord, the Lord is, is my light and, and my salvation. salvation. The, the Lord, Lord is the strength of my life. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The, the Lord, Lord is the strength of my life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord, the Lord is my life and my salvation. The Lord is the strength of my life. And let's say the words of the Magnificat together. And these words, of course, are the words of Mary when she discovers that she is with child, that she's bearing the Christ child. So we say, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him. From generation to generation, he has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel, to remember his promise of mercy. The promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Well, it's the beginning of creation tide, and we've just learned that uh, God creates amazing flowers and provides for all his children. 
And sometimes it's in the simple of things, isn't it? So let's stand, if you're able to, and, and let's affirm our faith in the God who is faithful and provides for us, the God of all creation. We say, I, I believe, believe in God, God the, the Father Almighty, Almighty creator of heaven and earth. earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. So please be seated, and Helen will now lead us in our prayers. Lord God, our Creator, Sustainer, and Lord above all, we pray today for all the wide world, for all the peoples, the animals, the plants, the seas and the mountains, the wonderful interlocking world that is the created earth, our home. We pray for all those caring for the land around us, the farmers, the growers, those who make their living from the land, and those responsible for packing and transporting our food. Those who care for the wild places around us, the rangers and wardens, and all those individuals who work for our common good, at places like Literary and Bowden Common, and all across Dartmoor. May they all take the care that you would have them do, Lord. Lord, in thy mercy, Hear our prayer. We pray for all those in lands suffering from drought, especially in sub-Saharan Africa this day. For those suffering when the rains don't come, or when they come intemperately, leading to flooding. We pray for those people and their livestock suffering for it from exceptional heat, yet still having to work in places such as the brick kilns of India and all those working outside, wherever they may be, without shade. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we thank you for all the joys of our lives, for meeting together as a church family week by week. And today we give, safe, we give thanks for the safe arrival of baby Isaria, granddaughter to Jane and daughter to Aaron and Gabby. We thank you too for all the weddings that we have had here on the tour. We thank you for the beautiful flowers from the wedding last week and we pray for all those who are planning their wedding here in the future. We pray too for all those returning to school or college, teachers, assistants, all students, especially those starting afresh, those beginning school for the first time, those moving on to secondary school, those going off to university, those beginning work. We thank you, Lord, for your great mercies that we live in a green and pleasant land. Yet we remember those who do not have their, this particular luxury. Lord, we are so grateful. And Lord, we pray too for all those who have come up the tour, for all their prayers who have settled down in this place. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for all those who have written their prayers in the book. We thank you for everyone who has written their prayers here. So many from all over the world. Lord, we pray for them all. 
Lord, finally, we thank you for all our blessings. And when we feel overburdened, remind us that your yoke is light. And very often, our burdens are in fact our blessings. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, let's stand and sing our second hymn. It's a well-known hymn, particularly suitable for creation tide, I think. justice 
where all may share the good things you pour upon us. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And so gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the Bible is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. We'll try it. just a couple of questions before the final <laughs> hymn. <laughs> Can anyone tell me the Welsh word for Blackberry? Okay, let's try another one. What is that very famous, it's a French cocktail drink that has champagne topped over a kind of liqueur in Cassis. Cassis and Key Royale are both. Cassis is the actual liquor made out of black currants, but sometimes it's creme de mur. So I will give you this for Cassis. 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 <laughs> and because you have Key Royale, there is an extra one I made just in case. Was that you in the letter? I wonder how I knew. <laughs> You're letting your secrets out, I think. So, and the dog obviously approves. <laughs> Alicia, I think he's approving, yeah? Spaniel approves. <laughs> the Spaniel approves. So, shall we stand and sing our final hymn? We have three verses, I think. It's on the pew sheet, and it's, uh, Oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder. <laughs> And take me home, my 